Hey guys, it's Eli. I'm coming at you with a new review for the Modi Pod. Um, currently, right now, uh, Ape Vape is having a sale where these guys are a dollar. Um, this deal ends tonight, so hopefully you guys see this. I got the Cherry Blossom, the Aurora, and the Robin Egg Blue. I might order more just because, hey, it's a dollar. <laughs> it's a backup pod for us. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open up this Cherry Blossom one. Um, I want to make a Fallout Boy reference, but I don't want to get demonetized. So, yeah. Alright, so. Um, these come with refillable pods. It's only one of them. And it comes with the device. Um, the pod is, I think, 1.8? Yes. 1.8 mil. Um, you can actually get these pre-filled or with um, a refillable style. And, I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Might give one to my mom-in-law. Mm, don't know. But these are good for salt neck. Um, so let's open it up. I'm in my car, by the way. <laughs> so, it's a mess. I've been doing anniversary, I guess. Ooh, that's so pretty. This, oh, the damn camera can't even pick up how beautiful this is. It's like a, it's almost like a fuchsia color. Ah, oh, so pretty. Oh, I'm gonna assume that the, yeah, this is the coil or the pod. Um, it holds 1.8 milliliters. It's just a pop and go. Um, it's got a nice, I mean nice, braided USB cable. And the device itself. Gosh, this is light. I'm gonna assume... Oh, no, that's an indicator button. Right there. So this is probably... There's the USB port. This is probably a, um... Like a sigil like draw, almost. Or at least I want to believe it is. So... You also get your user manual. I'm gonna take a brief moment and go off camera just to read this. Uh, real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this guy is actually pretty cool. All you have to really do is... This is hard to do when I did hold him. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> All you really have to do is pull off the cap. And there's a nice large fill hole. And then you got your pins at the bottom, your airflow. And this bad boy holds 1.7. I don't have any salt nicks, so I'll be using my only juice that I have on me right now, which is... Rounds uh, Water Dragon. I hated this at first, but um, they redid the batch, and I've gone through it pretty quick. I've only had this for a couple weeks, but I've been mostly vaping on my salt neck device. Um, I'm using the Smock Trinity Alpha. I'm having a brain fart right now, but yeah, um, I'm going to fill this up, and I'll be right back. Actually, I lied. It's not the top. You have to actually take off this piece right there and fill it down the holes so you don't waste as much juice as I did just now trying to fill the pod. <laughs> this pod does have like a nice magnetic click to it. It just goes right in. And yeah. I'm going to give it a few seconds to wick and then I will test it for you guys after I wipe off all the e-juice that I spilled. <laughs> Yeah, that's just an indicator light. It's supposed to be, or what they called it was an airflow indicator, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this is probably going to light up whenever I start vaping on it. Alright, so this device is actually meant for salt nick, but since I used uh, free base juice, it's not going to hit as hard as it should. I have so many chins. Um, but yes, this does show like the indicator light. Um, in the manual, it says it's bright, it's bright when it's normal, it flickers whenever there's a low power warning, and then, um, when you're charging it, it's a study, and then when the charge is complete, it will flicker three times, then shuts off, so that it doesn't overcharge itself. Um, the battery is about 500 milliamps, um, charging time takes about 50 minutes, and the charged capacity is 600 puffs, so you could, this could be quite a long time vape. And the, sorry Ryan messaged me, the um, pods use the 6th generation honeycomb ceramic core 
They are 1.2 to 1.5 ohms, and you can get about 650 to 800 puffs on it. Um, the pods are pretty cheap, actually. Um, you can go on 8-vape <laughs> and get them, I think, 4 for 10, maybe? I don't know. I haven't looked. But, yeah, let's give it a draw. It does have pretty good flavor. Um, I feel like it would be better flavor if I actually had salt nick on me. But, yeah. It's worth a try for a dollar. This could be a very discreet or like on the go kind of pod. I like to have something other than my Aegis when I drive. Um, just because my Aegis is just so huge. Sometimes it's just hard. You've seen my Aegis in almost every video though. Um, I'm still rocking the Watovo tank by the way. I had to change, like I had the coil in from the time I made that video until about, no not yesterday, the day before. I finally changed it and it lasted for quite a while. It's just that I can't freaking unscrew this tank. I had to go get Ryan and have him use his tools to get it off because if I try to unscrew it, uh, the airflow ring just comes off and then this part will come off. Nothing else will come off. Um, so you gotta have big strong hands for this guy. But if you're wanting just a nice little, it's almost like a jewel pod, but safer and healthier. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. But yeah, check these out. They're only a dollar. I'll drop the link down in the description and have a great day.